Ay, 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 ay. It's the noise thing. It is the noise thing. This is the first video. As the noise thing. Yes, this is indeed the first noise kind of video. And the goal of today's video is to showcase the Pizza Tower final around the Lift Build. The Wii's moveset, tips and tricks on it, and it also sh uh, is this is because I like the doors. No shit, this is the doors fan. What did you expect? Just for fun, because personally, even from a gameplay standard, this is my favorite character, and not even ignoring the bias of my. Doi's obsession. This is personally my favorite character in this build. So let's just start, shall we? So first up, Mr. Doi's is a this is based off the noise and the noise moves. Since he is a lot more popular, uh, since he is unrelated, unlike the noise he is unrelated, his ass got the f and better treatment and got his moves set and got in first as a playable character. So, it's based off that. However, there are a lot of differences in this uh, in the doors. First off, he accelerates much faster. However, when he hits the wall at Mark 4, he bounces off and he goes flying. Accompanied by a new mock animation. Now, my tip on uh, circumventing this is just to. Uh, I'll try that again. Is just to jump grab. And all in that will be stuck. It increases the animation. Boom. Spin. Special spin. Now. I'll go. Pass to showcase another part of the doors move set. Feel a bit, and we are back. We are officially back to showcase another part of the doors move set in Blood Souls Dungeon: the super jump. You can all uh, you can as uh, a, as he is based off the norms move set, he can super jump whenever he wants. Right? <laughs> However, his uh, super jump comes in a lot faster than the norm. It goes a lot faster than the norms. However, uh, if you hit a, uh, a ceiling, while um, super jumping, you will go careening down even faster than you will going up. This is uh, the honestly, this is probably the one thing because I mean, it's, this is basically not very well noticeable. However, I still like it because I am a boys and I am. A doys meat rider, not literally. So this can save you from from losing your combo on P-Rex. And my way to prevent this is when hitting a certain uh, a a ceiling, spam grab and uh, hold a direction. Then you just kind of 
or you can just come to the super top and you can hit to the ceiling. But if you hit the ceiling, remember to spam grab. You see? Okay. Since we are here already, I'm gonna restart the level. Just cause. Some of you got chicken in here. I have seen this little bar under the score. Well, you see, that is the doors fly meter, as I like to call it. It starts either when taking damage or starting your combo. If you take damage, the meter goes up. And if uh, you kill an enemy, enemy when your combo is 15 or higher, the meter goes down completely. And if the meter goes up completely, if the meter goes up completely, it start, uh, first it starts turning in different colors. Like, first it's blue, like normal doors, then pink, and now, when the bell hits, you will see the big issue that this presents. Now, Dorsefly dies, and Pedito comes. He's a mix, a kind of a mixture between John Rose and Pizza Face. As you can see, he heals your ass, but also he goes fast away from you. Basically, you can rubber band. That's why he's a mixture of John Rose. Pizza face. With, uh, I recommend you to. This makes it so you kind of have to do a pseudo and just kind of a a strength type mentality with your combo all the time. Gotta keep your hot combo high and your combo break slow and damage low. So you, to circumvent this, you just got uh, 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 just got to uh, keep your combo up. And when Pedito comes from your app, it's most likely game over, unless you're still not uh, enough for like lap and shit. Then you can probably afford to just fine. And that's it when it comes to Pedito. Now time for the uppercut. It goes higher than Pedito, but slower than the noise. The fucking bastard. They give my butt a big up my foil The cut and that is fake fucking bullshit if you ask me. But I don't want to fucking showcase this because it's tricky to showcase it. When he hits an enemy with this, the enemy explodes, which will probably harm other enemy and which will harm enemies probably because I didn't test it but it probably should harm enemies that come Near the explosion. Yeah. Also, unlike the rest of, mm, unlike Mr. Noise, specifically Noise, because but you know Zappa kind is so damn short. You, when um, you hit an enemy, it's quite likely that you're fully, uh, full. You will double your uppercut height. Skit, 
and you go twice as high. This isn't a, a, a there's no really downside to this, but I'll still give a tip. You can, to go a lot higher, you can grab and then while holding, uh, while doing, um, you can do grab, yes, grab, and while you're grabbing, just uh, press up, and grab, until you go move up, but, and jump. But this only works with when you're grabbing. So, okay, so this a lot higher. You see? Also, we can just super jump, but I mean, it's still a thing you can do. Yeah, that's it. Now, one of the final moves, if not the final move, for Mr. Doys is his Russell, which is turned into a pogo stick. Well, what will uh, happen is uh, when you land with your pogo stick, it will explode, which will send you a little bit up if you hold nothing. But if you hold jump, you go much higher. Basically, a pseudo, uh, basically the same uh, height as the grab other that I showed you. You see? Yeah. But the downside to this... You can't fly. You cannot fly with this because of this. But you see, you can do it and just... You can do the first uh, pogo and uh, cancel out of it. But after that, you can't do uh, another pogo. You can't, you just can't. There is no my tip for this. You try to use this pogo jump decently often. So, uh, if you, no, you don't have to use it often, you just I mean, yeah, you can try. That's kind of. This is basically the only problem for like speedrunners. You can probably use power uh, than for most people actually. Probably a lot of people got really attached to the with noise flying. But eh, it is what it is. You get uh, a lot of. Uh, but it's just the price to pay for this cap. Now that is the final thing about this games. Uh, However, you can um, also just like the noise. He has different transformations. Most of the time, it's basically a weak uh, version of the transformation. However, sometimes it does have upsides, like the chicken wing transformation from a regular desert. Now we put in me using the transformation as doors. Give me a second please, alright? Also find my next so, oh, uh, is Hello again. I am extremely goddamn expect, uh, upset because my dumbass forgot to turn on my mic. So I've been recording the footage without any audio for the past eight fucking minutes. So I gotta re record this shit. Okay. However, what I will uh, show. The, the, the transformation. 
as you can see, I'm not doing anything here. He just jumps automatically. He does, in fact, jump automatically. He does mini hops. However, he has improved jump height over the noise and plus a small double jump. Definitely the mini jumps can get annoying and fuck you up in some sections. However, the, the, the higher jump height and the double jump can um, come in handy in some situations. Yeah, As my cure. You can, you can just do that. Just skip the entire section. That's pretty cool. Now, the only thing I have left to show things is not the move set. You can, if you only wanted to see the move set, you can leave. However, for the ones who are interested in the stuff, you can see the clothes and. The other screen stuff, other graphic stuff for the doors. So, for the ones that only want to see the move set, thanks to for watching. Bye bye. But for the ones who want to stick around, here are the clothes. Doors unlocked by wearing your skin. Rotten unlocked by getting captured by Potato ten times. Hygienic unlocked by completing a flaw without summoning the leader. Poisoned unlocked by finishing a level while the doors rise burning. Hazard pay unlocked by surviving 10 or 45 seconds while the Leto is active. Reversal unlocked by P ranking a level and de then D ranking the next level before you enter. True love unlocked by completing an escape sequence without breaking a single door yet. Grand time unlocked by having the grand mug crash in the voice. Art hater unlocked by the uh, sing uh, points and beating Pepperman. Scorch unlocked by losing eight hit points and beating Vigilante. By the way, spawn is three to one. Uh, the in die guys unlocked by using eight hit points and beating El Diego. In the sea. Let me see. In the sea. Indecency. Unlocked by losing eight hit points and beating fake Pepino. Fungal unlocked by Phantom on Doyslands. Force gun unlocked by losing to every boss back to back. Rose unlocked by interacting with all the trash cans in oh shit the spit roast too unlocked by getting burnt by this special creature true noise unlocked by losing 17 hit points defeating peter Chris. real noise question mark okay unlocked by trying to fly as the noise tread uh, tragedy Unlocked by ending a combo on the lane. Brick Inspector. Unlocked by holding a village on for 30 seconds. Bargain Bin. Unlocked by paying the rest of your money to the giant burn. Organic. Unlocked by greeting every doisy doisy. Grady. Unlocked by completing war with one second left and a pink boy's one. Da damnation. Unlocked by achieving the eternal damnation. Freedom unlocked by achieving Doors is free and uh, on the gutter. Uh, unlocked by beating Sean Gutter while Pedito and Peterface are chasing you. And that's it. Now for the least good stuff. I've got three things to show First, Peter Grandis are replaced with Doors flowers. Look at him and all his blow. Amazing. 
Yes, indeed. Now the second thing I want to show you is that the skin. They have a boy sign for the wing skin of the pizza brownie sign. Yes, very fucking scary honestly. And also the final thing is replacing this to stick and and noise that is the doors. The, the door is it. Basically, you know that um, Doise it is basically a noise band version of noise it. It's actually the other way around. I mean, noise it is a noiseified version of noise it. Based off the TV screen, of course. Because the actual thing is, my boy don't get any bitches, sadly. So he has uh, to make a, uh, a statue of his, uh, well, girlfriend, uh, yes, okay, that's it, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, bye bye on that, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.